Hello everyone, this is Sandeep, your travel enthusiast, bringing you another exciting journey. Today, we explore Brno, the second largest city in the Czech Republic. Nestled in the heart of Europe, Brno is a city that offers an intriguing blend of past and present. It is located in the South Moravian region, surrounded by vineyards and rolling hills. Renowned as an educational powerhouse, it's home to over 35,000 students, contributing to its dynamic, youthful vibe. It's also a cultural hotspot, teeming with theatres, museums and galleries that celebrate its rich heritage. The city's storied history traces back to the 11th century, with centuries-old architecture standing tall amidst modern structures. From its medieval castle, Spielberg, to the UNESCO-protected Villa Tugendat, Brno is a testament to the passage of time, each era leaving its indelible mark. So buckle up and dive into the vibrant city of Brno with me. Our first stop is the awe-inspiring Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. Nestled in the heart of Brno, this iconic cathedral stands as a testament to the city's rich history and artistic heritage. It is a prime example of Gothic architecture, with its towering spires and intricate designs that are sure to leave you spellbound. The cathedral's imposing structure, adorned with stunning sculptures and delicate stonework, is a sight to behold. But it's not just about the grandeur, it's also a story of resilience. The Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul has a fascinating history that dates back to the 11th century. Over the centuries, it has seen numerous renovations and expansions, each contributing to its distinct character. It has withstood the test of time, just like the city of Brno itself. Inside, the cathedral is as impressive as its exterior, with its arched ceilings, stunning stained glass windows, and the magnificent altar that commands attention. The cathedral's organ, one of the largest in Central Europe, fills the air with divine music that resonates within these ancient walls. Perhaps the most distinctive feature of the cathedral is its bells, which ring at 11 in the morning instead of the traditional noon. This unique tradition traces back to the Thirty Years' War, when the city of Barno tricked the Swedish army into ending their siege by ringing the bells an hour early. It's a nod to a pivotal moment in Brno's history, a clever ruse that saved the city. And then there's the cathedral's tower, which offers a panoramic view of Brno that is nothing short of breathtaking. As you ascend the narrow spiral staircase, the city unfolds beneath you, revealing a skyline that beautifully blends the old and the new. A symbol of resilience and grandeur, the Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul truly encapsulates the spirit of Brno. This Gothic masterpiece, with its fascinating history and stunning vistas, is not just a place of worship, but a vibrant testament to the city's enduring spirit and artistic prowess. Now, we descend into the mysterious and somewhat eerie Brno Ossuary. Imagine a place where you can walk amongst the remains of over 50,000 souls, all in one labyrinthine chamber. This is the reality of the Brno Ossuary, a place where history and mortality intertwine in the most fascinating way. Tucked beneath the Church of St. James, this ossuary is the second largest in Europe, surpassed only by the catacombs of Paris. But what makes it truly special is its history. This silent sanctuary of the dead wasn't discovered until the early 21st century, during a renovation of the church above. Picture the scene. Construction workers, expecting a routine task, instead stumble upon a vast subterranean chamber filled wall-to-wall -wall with human remains. It must have been quite a surprise to say the least. But this discovery was more than just a macabre spectacle. It was a treasure trove of historical insight. The remains within the ossuary date back to the 13th century, offering a unique glimpse into the past. Skeletal studies reveal the hardships and diseases that plagued the people of yesteryears. It's a sobering reminder that underneath the surface, we all share the same human story. A story of life, death, and everything in between. Today, the ossuary is open to the public, inviting visitors to walk its dimly lit corridors and reflect on the transient nature of life. The bones are arranged in ornate patterns, lending an unexpected beauty to this place of final rest. Don't be fooled though, this isn't a place of morbidity or gloom. Instead, it's a place of quiet contemplation and profound respect for the journey every human being must take. 
It's a testament to the cycles of life and death that have shaped our world and continue to do so. The Brno Ossuary, a chilling reminder of our mortality, is a must visit for those seeking a unique historical experience. So, if you're ever in Brno, why not take a journey into the past and pay a visit? After all, it's not every day you get to walk through a labyrinth of history. From the depths, we emerge into the light of knowledge at the Mendel Museum. As we step into the hallowed halls of this distinguished institution, we're stepping into a living monument to the father of genetics, Gregor Mendel. This is where Mendel, a humble monk and a brilliant scientist, sowed the seeds of a scientific revolution right here in Brno. Mendel, with his simple peas, upended our understanding of inheritance and laid the foundation for modern genetics. His groundbreaking research, conducted in the serene confines of the Augustinian Abbey, changed the world. The Mendel Museum, fittingly located within these same historic walls, is a testament to his monumental achievements. However, the Mendel Museum is not just a shrine to the past, it's a vibrant interactive space where the complex world of genetics comes alive. The museum's experiential exhibits break down complicated genetic concepts into digestible, understandable chunks. Whether it's the DNA double helix or the Punnett Square, the Mendel Museum has a knack for making science accessible to all, regardless of age or background. The exhibitions don't just stop at Mendel's peas, they extend to the broader world of genetics, from the discovery of DNA to the cutting-edge research of today. It's a journey through the past, present, and future of genetics, all under one roof. But the Mendel Museum is more than just its exhibits. It's a symbol of Brno's rich intellectual history, a city that has always been a hotbed of scientific innovation. The museum is a reminder of the inquisitive spirit that has pervaded this city, from Mendel's era to the present day. Visiting the Mendel Museum is like stepping into a time machine, where one can witness the birth of a scientific field, its growth, and its limitless future potential. It's a place that inspires curiosity, fosters learning, and pays homage to one of the greatest scientific minds of all time. A visit to the Mendel Museum is not just a journey into the world of genetics, but a tribute to the city's rich intellectual history. Let's wrap up our tour at the vibrant heart of Brno, the Freedom Square. This bustling square is more than just a geographical landmark, it's the city's lifeblood, where the people of Brno come together to celebrate, to shop, to debate, and to dream. Freedom Square shows off the city's knack for blending the old with the new. Here, centuries-old traditions coexist with the hustle and bustle of modern city life. Regular markets bring the square to life, with stalls packed with fresh produce, local crafts, and the tantalizing aroma of traditional Czech cuisine. The square also plays host to numerous festivals and cultural events, from open-air concerts to art installations, turning it into a playground of creative expression. At the heart of the square stands a unique symbol of the city, the Black Obelisk. This isn't your typical clock, it's a piece of art, a tribute to the city's past, and a functional timepiece all rolled into one. The Black Obelisk pays homage to Brno's defensive victory in the Thirty Years' War, where, according to legend, the city tricked the invading Swedish forces into retreating by ringing the noon bell an hour early. The clock commemorates this clever act of defiance, reminding us that Brno's spirit is rooted in resilience and ingenuity. The Freedom Square isn't just a place, it's an experience. It's where you can feel the pulse of the city, witness the seamless blend of tradition and innovation, and immerse yourself in the local culture. It's a testament to Brno's dynamic spirit, a spirit that refuses to be confined by the boundaries of time and space. So next time you find yourself wandering through the streets of Brno, make your way to Freedom Square. Take a moment to soak in the atmosphere, to listen to the stories whispered by the ancient cobblestones, and to marvel at the city's vibrant heartbeat. The Freedom Square, pulsating with life and history, embodies the dynamic spirit of Brno. And with that, our journey through Brno comes to an end. We've traversed the grand Gothic architecture of the Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul, a testament to the city's rich history and spiritual heritage. We've delved into the mysteries of the Brno ossuary, a labyrinth of centuries-old bones that echo tales of time long past. 
We've honored the scientific contributions made at the Mendel Museum, a place where knowledge and discovery intersect in the most fascinating ways. And finally, we've immersed ourselves in the vibrant pulse of the city at Freedom Square, the heart of Brno, where the old meets the new in a harmonious blend of culture and modernity. Each corner of Brno tells its own story, each monument, a chapter in the city's long, captivating narrative. Brno, a city that resonates with historical grandeur, scientific prowess, and dynamic city life, awaits your exploration. This is Sandeep, signing off until our next adventure.